Okay, welcome back to Learner Trade. Today we'll be talking on the broad information. So, is a strat type of strategy, strat type of strategy combined with ICT, and it's very easy to understand. This video will not be long. So, let's say you have your um. So about that. Let's say you have your read so market read this i and goes down so you're targeting this low right so you have something like this so if you want to use your broad information after getting some after seeing such formation like this you just so this is where we have our read right then we have market structure shift here. So to use your body information from here like this, to take this first um, the price the market rate and this extend it out. Then do do the same thing to this two. So this is your broad information from this to this first line to this line. This is your broad information. So when market gets to this eye, you'll be looking to short. Meaning it has taken, if you look at it in terms of um, liquidity grab, this eye took this eye. So if market goes back up here, it has taken this eye like that. So you'll be looking to short targeting this low. If market gets to this low, you understand so as you can see now this market is taking both the high and lows so if market gets to this low so you'll be looking at it like this at this um, low now you'll be targeting the high back here then the market gets to this high you target the low so it's like market is taking liquidity here liquidity here same thing above here too it's doing it for you it's doing it for you and it's doing it for you so my guess is returning back, and that is how the broad information is used. You only stop using it when market has broken either the eye of the broad information or the or the low of the broad information down. You understand? So it's not that when market gets you, you just long. If market gets you, you look you it you have the formation from this type of formation, your rate of liquidity and hope. It has read this low, so that is the read. Then you want to see at least a pump, then inside maybe this leg, as I want to see too long, targeting this eye. Same thing here too. Market has read this low. So inside here, you want to look for a short down to this rate too. So you'll be doing like that until market breaks either this eye or this low. So there are also other forms. You can see a burden formation. You know now in this case it's taking both high and low right so the other form whereby if it's not taking both high and low let's say we are having you're seeing the market like this let's say you're seeing the market like this so you have um first initial grade right then you'll be targeting this low but market fails to take this low and it continue taking the eye so it read this eye read this eye here again but fails to take this low read this eye here again fails to take this low so what you'll be doing around here is that you um is leaving sell side liquidity can you see but taking out the buy side so what you'll be doing looking for around here is to look for a clear market structure shift you understand so when you have market structure shift say, say like this which break this low you understand that is it's like having a three drive pattern to so one two three you see the market break this low then you look for your 
take a short here your fair value gap around here you understand then you're targeting the initial lows where the liquidity started from where the board information started forming you understand you're targeting this low here that's where you just take your profit you understand so that is it let's let's say we have a fair value gap here you understand so market is continue taking buy side buy side buy side buy side but it's living on the sell side if you notice a board information like this all these eyes are touching each other all these flows are touching each other it's like um your chart pattern this is like a rising wedge right but looking at it in terms of ICT, now you see that these eyes have been taken by side liquidity have been taken leaving sell side so you just look for clear market structure shift and you'll be shorting here putting your stop loss at the eye then targeting the um, start of that candle of this candle so that is how you understand your body information so there are other forms again it can happen let's say we are having it in this form so let's say we are here now the eyes were being taken so let's say here the lows were being taken and eyes were being ignored so so we have the eyes like this the market will be like this right so you see something like this right So if you are seeing something like this, you see now lows were being taken in this case, but eyes. So buy side liquidity was left untouched, but sell side liquidity were being taken. So what you want to do here is what you want a market structure shift from here. You want the clear market breaking this eye. You understand? So if market breaks this eye, you already know that okay, that means it has gone out from the broad information, right? So you'll be targeting this your own eye. Then you put it here like this. So you look for your fair value gap entry around here. You understand? Then target this eye where it started from. So let's say around here. So that will be for long examples. So you're having it here. Your stop loss here. Your take profit at the start of this eye here. So these are the best way to use your board information. So now I gave you guys three examples whereby buy side liquidity was being taken, leaving sell side, and where sell side were being taken, leaving buy side, and whereby the both of them were left untouched, or, or whereby both of them were being taken, both buy side and sell side liquidity was being taken, right? Yeah. So the other last example now it's if both of them were being were left untouched so we are having buy side liquidity left on touch sell side liquidity left on touch too so let's do an example like that so for that you just be waiting for a break of structure so we are having yeah and we're having another one yeah all right Okay, no, that'll be opposite. Sorry, like this.
So in this example now, can you see both the buy side and the sell side was not being taken. You see, buy side liquidity was not being taken, sell side liquidity. Was not taken. So what you want to do here is wait. If market break this eye, then you should be targeting a long to this this thing. But if market break, sorry, but if market break this low first, yeah, then you should be targeting for short. Looking at your favorite value looking for on this leg, then targeting this low, yeah. You understand? So that's how you can use both the broad information in your trading to also advance your win with them. So this is a typical example. As you can see now, price read this top. You understand break market structure shift. Have our anything that other block, then crash down, touching this low again, going up, touching the high. You see fair value gap enter targeting this low. Sometimes you don't have to take note of the week. The body is the main stuff because the week through the damage body tells the story. So as you can see, price and close um below the um, line so targeting the top so this is the point whereby you want to take note of the week and is um, mitigated and is um sorry invalid so this is a typical example of a broad information 